Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. My name is Travis Rose. I'm the creator of the Master the Market Education that you can find link below in the description. I wanted to put this video together to kind of start off a series that I want to do here on the channel to take traders step by step from the absolute basics of day trading and actually end up getting into some more complex topics and get into some real trading strategies that I personally use to trade stocks full time. So this is of course just part one of the series. And as I mentioned, we're gonna start with the basics and gradually in future videos, we're gonna get more complex. So that way this can kind of be a step-by-step -step guide to learning how to day trade stocks for beginners. And really that is just the goal of the series. When I first got started trading, I was really looking for something that would teach me step-by-step -step how to get into day trading and gradually got more complex and taught me the strategy step-by-step -step later on in that series or later on in that course. Um, and really I couldn't find anything at least for an affordable cost. So that's kind of what I want this series to be about. Something that is free for everybody to watch and that is going to start from the very basics and gradually teach day trading for beginners. Okay, so whether you're somebody that knows nothing about trading at all or even if you've been trading for a few years, at some point within this series, you should be able to take something, apply it to your trading and benefit from it. Okay, so first and foremost, because this is a series about day trading, and as I mentioned, we're going to start from the very basics. What is day trading and how does it differ from other types of trading and investing? Well, day trading is when you close a position the same day that you opened it. And this can be either buying and selling, which is typically what you think of when you think of the stock market. You know that you want to buy low and later on sell high. Or this can also be short selling and buying to cover. And this is something that we're going to talk a little bit more about in the future of this series. But just to give you an idea of what it is, Short selling actually allows you to profit from stocks going down. And the way that it works is you still wanna buy low and sell high, but with short selling, you're simply selling high first, and then later on buying back those shares, ideally at a lower price. But the moral of the story with day trading is that any position that you close within the same day that you opened it is going to be considered a day trade. And this is going to differ from swing trading because swing trading is any position that you hold for a few days all the way up to a few months before closing. And of course this differs from long-term investing because an investment is typically considered a position that is held for an entire year or even longer before you close it or exit your position. And like anything else in the world, there are of course pros and cons to each of these. And one of the big pros of day trading is day trading actually gives you the ability to make very significant profits in only a very short period of time. So if we take this example, this is actually a screenshot of one of my recent trades. Um, I made about $655 in under an hour of trading. And this actually happened to be a short position rather than a typical buy and sell. This is one where I sold short and then later on bought to cover. And this is the stock symbol LEDS. So you can see that I short sold 6,000 shares total at an average cost of about $2.33. Later on, the stock fell down a bit and I was able to cover 4,000 of those shares at $2.24 and the other $2,000 at $2.17. And that of course gave me a profit of $655.40. And really these kind of profits are possible with any kind of trading or investing. But the beautiful thing about day trading is of course because you're dealing with more volatile stocks and because you're specifically looking to get in and out of a trade in a very short period of time, many times in under an hour, you're able to make these profits in a very short period of time. So you don't have to wait days, months, or even years to lock in those profits like you would with swing trading or even longer term investing. Another big pro about day trading is that you don't have to worry about any news being released overnight and negatively affecting your position. If you've been trading for a while, this may be something that you've learned the hard way. Um, and I personally had to deal with this many times as I got started in my trading career as well. But the reality is, is that overnight news can have a huge effect and cause huge losses on your positions that you hold overnight. So if you're swing trading or long-term investing, having to worry about overnight news can have a huge impact on your trading. And again, that's a big benefit to day trading because you're closing out those positions before the market closes and companies are going to release news either after hours when the market closes or before the market opens the following day. You're not going to have to worry about your positions being affected by that news because you already closed out your day trade positions. Okay, now with that being said, there are also, of course, are a few cons to day trading. Um, and the first one of those is what is known as the pattern day trader rule. 
also commonly referred to as the PDT rule. And what this rule does is limits US-based traders to only three day trades per five business days if their trading account balance is less than $25,000. And realistically, of course, most new traders do have less than $25,000, so they're going to fall under this PDT rule. This rule was put into effect by the SEC to quote unquote protect traders, but at the end of the day, what it really does a lot of times is causes traders to end up having to hold positions overnight that they would rather sell and exit out of that day because of the fact that they don't have any day trades left. So having to deal with this rule is a big negative to day trading, but you do have to keep in mind that you still do have three day trades per five business days. So if you take the quality over quantity approach to your trading, you can definitely make good use of those three day trades. Also with that being said, there are a few ways that you can kind of get around the PDT rule. And one of them is actually by opening a brokerage account that happens to be offshore of the US. Now I know that sounds a little bit sketchy, but as long as you're opening an account with a reputable offshore broker, you have nothing to worry about. And of course, by doing so, you're able to legally avoid that pattern day trader rule. So with that being said, here's a list of some of the common brokers that we see in both the US and outside of the US. Uh, so in the US, we have TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, Robinhood, Webull, Fidelity, and so on and so forth. And for offshore brokers, we have TradeNet, CMEG, or Capital Markets Elite Group, U-Stock Trade, and again, so on and so forth. So of course, these are just a few of the many, many brokers that there are available. And something to keep in mind is that everybody is, of course, going to have their own preference when it comes to brokerages, because certain brokerages are going to have features that others may not. And everybody, of course, has their own preferences and things that they do differently when it comes to their own personal trading. So when it comes to opening a brokerage account, these are just a few. I recommend doing a little bit more research on these before opening an account and even looking at some other ones um, and see which one is going to best fit your trading style. With that being said, if you do want to go with the offshore route, I personally have worked with TradeNet in the past and I do still trade with them on a pretty regular basis. So if you want to check them out and learn a little bit more about what TradeNet is and how you can avoid the pattern day trader rule by opening an account with them, I'll have a link down below in the description to do so. Anyway, the next question that most people have is how much money do you actually need to start trading? And really the answer for this is as little or as much as you'd like. Different brokers are of course going to have different account minimums, but most of them are as little as zero dollars. So if you want to start with just fifty dollars or maybe a few hundred dollars or even a few thousand dollars, you can feel free to do that. I personally always like to recommend traders to start small, um, especially while you're still learning and getting the hang of things. It's best to start small and have less money at risk than to start with your full life savings and to put all of that at risk while you're still learning how to trade and while you're still learning the basics. Remember, you can always, of course, add more to your account in the future once you're more confident and once you understand how the market operates a little bit better. All right, that's going to be a wrap on the first part of this series. Again, this is the first of many episodes of the series, and we're going to start from the basics here and gradually get more advanced and go through some more complicated subjects and actually teach some of the real trading strategies that I use to trade full time. So if you enjoyed this, please make sure to give this video a like. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on part two of the series. Also, if you want to avoid waiting for the following parts and you want to learn day trading, swing trading, and even longer term investing strategies step by step, along with 70 practice quizzes and access to our trading chat room with over a thousand active traders, I highly recommend checking out the first link down below in the description to learn more about all of this at my website, Master the Market. But anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in part two.